Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. It is 925 here on this uh, Friday evening. Hope everybody had a great day. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Want to start off this appcast by telling you where we have these winter weather alerts and they are up towards the highlands. OK, you have to head up towards the highlands to really see any uh, snowfall accumulation that could amount to much. Uh, and we'll go over totals coming up here in just a little bit. But we do have in pink a winter storm warning through Friday night. That includes portions of Pocahontas County in West Virginia and also for Highland County here in the Commonwealth. Also have winter weather advisories in effect for Western Greenbrier, Eastern Pocahontas, also for Bath and uh, Western Nelson counties. These winter weather advisories in effect for the same time frame as the winter storm warnings they are in effect through tonight. So we've got a couple of counties right now under winter weather alerts. You'll notice though these winter weather alerts are much more prevalent as you go northbound north of here. So friends, if you have fa family or friends up in uh, Winchester or up in Cumberland, Maryland, even areas closer to our nation's capital, that's where they're going to likely see more snow than what we're going to be seeing here locally. All right, let's uh, show you the current radar and you'll notice that the uh, moisture, the precipitation is starting to enter at least a couple of our backyards. Still the bulk of the moisture west of us into West Virginia. West Virginia right now seeing some rain in Beckley and in Charleston you're seeing snow. So it's a real bit of a messy go right now as you head from Princeton northbound into Parkersburg in West Virginia. Uh, it's a, a very um, potentially even treacherous road as you head north of Beckley along I-77 going through Charleston, north through Ripley and also into Parkersburg. So again, pretty nasty weather right now in the Mountaineer state. And what's west is indeed coming to the east, but you'll notice as at least this initial batch of precipitation moves in, look what happens to it as it moves to the east. It holds together and then falls apart. OK, so certainly seeing some snow showers in the portions of Highland and Bath counties, certainly seeing some snow showers right now close to Hot Springs and also especially northbound in a Monterey and Highland County further south into northern Allegheny County. Right now it's warm enough for mainly just a couple of rain showers north of Covington, but we do have certainly more moisture working its way in from West Virginia heading eastbound. And I would say by around 11 or midnight, we're going to have precipitation uh, encompassing more of our backyards than what we're seeing outside right now. Again, as you head up towards the highlands, this is the area that is likely going to see the most amount of snow out of this disturbance pushing through here tonight. Again, I stress to you areas close to hot springs may be dealing with a very light and, uh, rain and or snow mix. It's not amounting to much yet. Uh, then you head northbound into Monterey, and that's where we're seeing uh, certainly uh, a little bit more in the way of just plain old snow showers as you head again northbound on 220 going close to that 250 corridor. All right, let's show you the bigger picture, and you'll notice that it is certainly snow snowing quite a bit in Ohio, West Virginia, and also into Pennsylvania. It's a nasty go of it right now in and around Pittsburgh, uh, Somerset, Pennsylvania, near Seven Springs Ski Resort, certainly seeing some snow as are folks around Johnstown. Again, the bulk of the snow stays north of us. That's where we just showed you. That's where the bulk of the winter weather alerts are. Uh, but again, uh, we're certainly going to be impacted by the southern tip of this thing. And as it moves through here tonight, it's going to bring us that chance for a rain snow mix around here. Now, as far as snowfall forecast, Beginning from now through about 5 a.m. on Saturday, which is close to the end time areas in white. That is where we're going to see the most amount of snow. So good news for snowshoe in West Virginia. They could see anywhere from three to six inches of snow. Northern parts of Highland County three to potentially up to six inches of snow, probably closer to the three to four inch range. But there again could be up to six inches of snow into extreme northern parts of Highland County. Then areas in blue. This encompasses uh, the rest of Highland County also into Bath County, northern sections of Rockbridge County areas, maybe even near Wintergreen over towards Mountain Lake and Mount Rogers. That's where we could see anywhere from one to three inches of snow. So again, we're looking at more snow. The higher you go up in terrain, three to six inches of snow for snowshoe. Also for uh, northern parts of Highland County, head a little bit farther south in the Highlands towards Hot Springs. We're looking at about one to three inches of snow. Lewisburg, anywhere from about one to three inches of snow. Mountain Lake, anywhere from one to three inches of snow. Where you see this light blue color, that is where we're looking at zero to one inch. Frankly, most areas in this light blue color will probably get closer to zero than to one. There'll be areas in this light blue color that see no snow 
fall accumulation at all. However, as you go up in elevation, once you get above 2,000 feet, areas in light blue could certainly see anywhere from a coating to an inch of snow. So again, this is uh, dependent upon elevation. Again, I stress to you, the higher you go up in elevation, the more snow you're going to see. The lower you go in elevation, the lack of snow you're going to have. I don't anticipate seeing any snowfall accumulation in Roanoke City, in Lynchburg, at Smith Mountain Lake, in Danville, in South Boston. No snow for you. you may see a couple of snowflakes, but no snowfall accumulation. This is mainly going to be a highlands event and to a lesser extent, maybe a couple portions of the New River Valley. All right, so there's a look at that snowfall forecast. The future tracker shows that by about two, three, four o'clock in the morning, although there might be a couple of leftover rain and or snow showers at that point, most of the energy is done. Quick moving storm system moving through here tonight. It doesn't have a ton of moisture with it, and whatever moisture it does have is going to quickly skirt to the east and potentially even fall apart a bit. So by 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, just a couple of remaining rain and or snow showers. By 4, 5, 6 a.m., we're completely dry, and it looks like by Saturday when the sun goes up until the sun goes down, the trend will be on Saturday for us to see increasing sunshine. One little caveat to that, and that could be a continued chance for some upslope snow showers, west slope snow showers into western Pocahontas and also into western Greenbrier counties in West Virginia. But even that upslope snow machine will turn itself off as we head closer to dinner time on Saturday. Simply put on Saturday, I think we're going to have more sunshine east and more cloud cover to the west. So you folks Lynchburg and south side on Saturday going to see more sunshine than folks in the NRV and also in the Highlands. As we watch the next storm track, it looks like we'll have another chance for rain and it's plain old rain as we head Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday of next week. So I'm thinking really Saturday all the way through Wednesday during the day, uh, we're going to be dry. So that gives us two, three, about five days in a row where we're going to be uh, pretty dry. Chance for rain then goes up Wednesday night into Thursday, into Thursday night and also into next Friday. So by late next week, this cold front here could bring us a chance for some more rain. Now, as far as the wind is concerned, that is going to be a talker, okay? Not only are we going to be quite chilly on Saturday, but we're also going to be very windy too. Okay, the winds are no doubt going to be a huge factor for us to start the weekend. Wind gusts in Southside and in Lynchburg, 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts in Roanoke and the Highlands, about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Wind gusts in the NRV, about 40 to 50 miles per hour. So it's certainly going to be quite windy outside for us here on Saturday, making those daytime highs in the 30s and lower 40s feel even colder colder than that. We're going to have wind chills tomorrow morning, likely feeling like the teens and 20s. Again, wind chills tomorrow morning as you step out the door Saturday morning will feel like the teens and 20s. We talked about the wind on Saturday, very windy, still a little bit on the breezy side on Sunday, but by Monday looks like those winds will actually calm down. So it does look as though we'll still breezy on Sunday, but by Monday those winds will not be playing much of a factor in our forecast. 33 right now, hot springs, a little bit cold, or pardon me, a little bit warmer further south. 46 in Withville, 43 Blacksburg, 44 Roanoke, 42 in Lynchburg, and also into Martinsville. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> It's going to feel like winter tomorrow, no doubt about it. 37 in the NRV, 38 Covington and Clifton Forge. Even colder as you had northbound on 220, 41 Road Oak and about 43 in Lynchburg and in Southside. Make sure to bundle up tomorrow. I uh, want to again repeat to you that with the wind, it is going to feel colder than the actual air temperatures. As you head out the door tomorrow morning, it could feel as cold as 5 to 10 degrees in Hot Springs. It's going to feel like the teens in Withville and also in Hillsville and Galax, not to mention Floyd. It's going to feel like the 20s in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and also in Southside. Here's the deal. Even as we head into tomorrow afternoon, when we start to warm things up a bit, and we're talking highs in the 30s and 40s, Feel like temperatures are still going to feel like the teens and 20s in the mountains, 20s and 30s outside the mountains. So again, I stress to you, tomorrow is cold, cold, cold. But we're going to bounce back. <laughs> we're going to bounce back as soon as Sunday. 
Look, temperatures tomorrow 30s and 40s. By Sunday, we're in the 40s and 50s. I think Sunday is going to be about 10 degrees warmer than Saturday. And then by mid next week, we should have temperatures well into the 50s, even to uh, some areas getting close to 60. So again, next week, colder air retreats to, uh, retreats to the north. The colder air heads back up into New England. And the storm track next week, at least for the first part of the week, will stay mostly to the west of us. We will tap into more warmth next week, and you'll see the numbers coming up here on the seven day forecast. This winter so far in the Roanoke Valley, well, <laughs> it's been pretty warm. Yes, we've seen some snow this winter, thankfully. Uh, certainly more snow than what we had last winter, but the numbers still are very low in the snowfall department. And the reason for that is right here. In December, the temperature was about five and a half degrees above average. In January, close to two degrees above average. And look at February, about nine degrees above average. February has been so warm except for tomorrow. <laughs> Once we get beyond tomorrow, we start to warm things back up again. So far, this is the fourth warmest winter on record across the Roanoke Valley. Now, the warmer winters, why do we care? Well, the warmer the winter, the more negative effect it could have on certain crops. Not all crops, but on certain crops. So there could be a negative effect on certain crops. It shortens the season for winter sports. Thankfully, West Virginia uh, snowshoe winter plays. They've seen more snow than what we've seen here in the Commonwealth. We've had some West Slope snow machines uh, certainly helping out the ski resorts in West Virginia. And the other thing is, and this is something that we've noticed here over the last several years because of these warm winters, we have a longer pest and allergy season, and that's no fun. I mean, the longer the season for pests and allergies, the more kind of harassment we have outside. Uh, you know, these uh, stink bugs don't go away. Uh, we tend to have uh, more allergies, uh, not only more allergies during the peak of allergy season, but the allergy season starts quicker. So these warmer winters have a negative effect on certain crops. It shortens the season for winter sports and it brings us a longer pest and allergy season. All right, so for tonight, scattered showers with some snow up north. Again, uh, we will probably see some rain in Roanoke and Lynchburg, maybe even across south side, but no no snowfall accumulation in downtown Roanoke. No snowfall accumulation downtown Lynchburg. No snowfall accumulation in Martinsville or Danville. The snowfall accumulation will mainly be north of Interstate 64. It could be a light accumulation towards the higher terrain of the NRV as well. Once you get closer to those border counties with West Virginia. Overnight lows tonight in the 20s and 30s. For the day tomorrow, I do believe that after tonight, tomorrow looks to be dry. Okay, uh, For the 24-hour period we call Saturday, yes, there's that chance for precipitation but the precipitation will lie after midnight tonight. OK, and even then after midnight, the chance for precipitation will go down by about 4 a.m. During the daylight hours tomorrow, we're dry. We're going to see increasing sunshine. It's going to be a blustery afternoon. No doubt about it. So during the daylight hours, Saturday, we're dry. Sunday's dry. Monday is dry for President's Day. Tuesday, Wednesday, dry too. It's Wednesday night into Thursday, Thursday night into Friday, where we'll have a better chance to pick up on some showers. OK, so we're going to be dry here Saturday through Wednesday. So that's five days where we're going to be enjoying some sunshine. But by Thursday and Friday, more cloud cover and a better chance for rain showers. Look at these temperatures too. highs tomorrow, 30s and lower 40s. By Monday, we're in the mid to upper 50s. By Wednesday, we're approaching 60, if not near, if not above 60 in a couple of areas. And then by Thursday, we're in the lower 60s. So it does look as though the two warmest days here for the next seven days will be Wednesday and Thursday, only to cool down late next week into next weekend. Joining me is my good friend, Allie. Allie, are there any questions I can answer tonight, my friend? Fantastic. Uh, we'll be back here for our 11 o'clock newscast in about an hour and 20 minutes from now. We do hope to see you then, but if we don't, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And we'll see you again real soon for another AppCast.